Hello Excelers and welcome. Thanks for joining me today for another How to Excel at Excel.com Excel tip video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below to get notified when there's a new Excel tip available here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to sign up for the How to Excel at Excel newsletter, which gives you three free Excel tips every month direct to your inbox. There's a link below in the description box there. Uh, and when you sign up, you'll get my free ebook, which has got my top 30 Excel tips. Hi, Excelers, welcome back to my next video. Today, I'm going to show you how to insert emojis into your Excel formulas. Emojis are everywhere. If you like to use them, you can even put them in your Excel formulas. So let's look at an example. So my data set is here. I've got sales targets and actual sales. And I've got a thumbs up if we've hit the target or we're over or a thumbs down emoji if we haven't yet made target. So let's get started on how to use these emojis. So we're going to use the if formula to get our result. If you are new to the if formula, then basically you're performing a logical test, giving one value if the test is true and another value if it's false. So in this case, what we want to say is if our actual sales are equal to or greater than our sales target, give a thumbs up. If they're not, thumbs down. OK, so let's start with equals and start our if formula. So our logical test is if actual sales are greater than or equal to our target sales. We want the thumbs up emoji inverted commas and to get the emojis so we use the window shortcut key which is the windows flag and either a period or full stop or you can use the windows key and a semicolon so let's choose our first emoji that's the value we want if our logical test is true if not what we want to do is if the test is false what we want to do then is insert the thumbs down. Press enter. There we have it. And there we have the result. Then all we need to do is drag down as usual, drag down or double click the formula. Now, if you wanted to use any other emojis, they should all be there if you just hit the Windows key and period or full stop or the semicolon and you can insert whichever emoji you want to. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed that tip on how to add emojis to your Excel formulas. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up consider subscribing. You can leave a comment, ask a question, ring the notification bell. It really does help the channel. And I'll see you next time for another How to Excel at Excel.com video. Thanks.